I do a lot of building in The Sims, and I also use a lot of little build cheats and like tips and tricks and stuff that I think would be very difficult for me to go without. And so today I want to try and build a house using no cheats. So like no move objects, no unlock objects. I'm not even gonna let myself alt place anything, so this is gonna be really difficult for me. At this point, all of those cheats and things are basically second nature, so it's gonna be very weird to try and build without them. So for this I made a little family just so we could have a budget. So we've got a dad and his two kids. They're gonna live here on a 20 by 15 lot because look, I'm not trying to do a lot lot of landscaping on a giant lot when I can't use move objects. Believe it or not, back when The Sims 4 first came out, we didn't even have a move objects cheat, like it didn't even exist yet. I don't know how we functioned back then, and to be honest, I haven't built a house with no move objects in so long, I don't even know how I'm gonna decorate this. <laughs> Genuinely, it is like second nature for me to alt place things, so I'm probably gonna forget a bunch of times in this video while I'm trying to do stuff, but we're gonna try our best to make this entire house with no cheats. I think I'd like for this house to have a second floor, I don't want it to be like a huge house, but I'd like to have have some sort of second floor in this one, and I also think I want to have at least three bedrooms. You know, I'm thinking a little bit more about this, and I'm starting to question my own rules for this challenge, and by that I mean things like shift holding when I'm roofing. So for example, if you hold shift and you like adjust a roof, you can just edit one side, like I just got rid of the right side's overhang instead of the left side's overhang. Does that count as a cheat? I don't think it's a cheat, but I think it's like a little trick, like alt placing that I probably shouldn't use for this, but that'll make this a lot harder because I'm so used to just being able to do whatever I want with the roof that I don't really even think about stuff like that anymore. I guess I'll try and class it as like stuff that the average Sims player wouldn't know when they first open the game for the first time. Like you can kind of figure out that you can use all these arrows for things, but if it takes like an extra hotkey or something to do it, we probably shouldn't use it. Okay, so far I've built the same kind of house that I literally always built. It looks no different than anything else I've ever built in The Sims 4. This is like my classic go-to starter slash cheap home kind of shape. Oh, see, this is what I mean. Like I want to do a little roof trick to blend this in better, but I don't know if I can do it with like no cheats. So give me a second to figure this out. Like if we do it this way, I wonder if I can do it with just like more pieces than usual to avoid the shifting. Okay, I still can. Kind of want this chimney to be like a little bit taller. To me, it looks kind of sad. Maybe I could, oh no, stop, stop, stop. Just use like one higher. This house is boring. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. This house is kind of boring. Should we just wrap around the porch, like around the entire back of the building or or something. Like, I don't really know what I'm going for with this, but maybe that'll be an easy way to do it, and then we can just put like a dormer or something up top. I mean, that doesn't look bad. It's not that good either, but <laughs> it doesn't look bad. This isn't a very smart thing to do for like a cheaper house either, because we have to pay for a lot of fence for this wraparound porch. I still like it, and I think it's pretty, but it's also just, you know, <laughs> not the best idea, basically. See, even the columns are kind of expensive because there's so many of them, but this poor little house needs something to make it stand out more. Small pro tip, when you're doing Doing this kind of thing, you don't have to put a fence underneath where the stairs are gonna go. The game will let you like put stairs right in front of a fence, but it just like covers the fence, but you still have to pay for it. So delete the fence underneath where the stairs will be, and then also delete the underside of the stairs to save a bunch of money. Oh, I wanted to use this, but I probably shouldn't. It's kind of expensive, so I, I almost really shouldn't use this. <laughs> like this is basically an extreme waste of money for very little return, but it's so nice. We have 14,000 simoleons to furnish the entire inside of the house. <laughs> Oh, does rotating the flooring count as a cheat? I wouldn't call that a cheat, but it is one of those things that isn't like immediately obvious to people. I get asked how to do that all the time. You use the angled bracket keys on your keyboard to do this, so those keys that look like this, <laughs> you can rotate the floor like that. You can also press Control F to get little like corner pieces. You can also press Control F to get quarter tiles, and then you can place like little tiny pieces of floor like this. That one for sure feels kind of cheaty for a challenge like this, so I won't be doing that. Oh, I wanted to put columns in the corner corners, but I can't because I can't use move objects. Oh no. Okay, this door is kind of expensive, but it's my favorite door, so I want to use it. Can I even put a light here? I can't alt place it. Oh no. I don't like where that's placing. Usually I would like put it. Okay, hang on. Tell me how it's fine to put there, but I can't put it over a little bit. How does that make sense? Do I just put it really close to the door then? I guess we could put one on like either side probably. I don't love that, but I've seen worse. I want to lower this window too, but I can't. It has to be right there. If if it were up to me, I'd just put it like a little bit further down, but no, against the rules. I think I'll try and put windows on either side of that fireplace if I even put a fireplace there. I think that's a decent amount of windows. I didn't put any on this side of the house yet because oftentimes with the side of the build, I kind of just wait until I do the floor plan and then I figure it out. So I'll probably do the same thing here. I think I'm possibly gonna put the 
bedroom downstairs, like the parents' bedroom downstairs. Oh no, and speaking of which, I also need to put stairs downstairs. The upstairs is pretty big, so I could probably get away with not doing this, or maybe having just like a small bathroom or something down here. Maybe we have no bathroom downstairs, and the staircase could be like in the back corner or something. Maybe I could rotate it around a little bit. We could put it like there, maybe more like that. If I delete the underside, I save a lot of money, but I also don't like how it looks. <laughs> so I'm not sure what to do. I'm kind of liking this because I like how there's a little bit of a hallway into this room, whatever it's going to end up being. Maybe this could be a good spot for the kitchen and then we could do a living room right here. There's just like no space for a dining table is kind of the problem with this house. There's plenty of space for bedrooms and stuff upstairs or at least for, oh no. <laughs> oh, Okay, at least for a couple of bedrooms upstairs. This is a little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We don't have a bathroom downstairs, so we could probably fit two up here. There could be like bathroom for the hallway, bedroom, main bedroom, an ensuite bathroom, and I'll probably get rid of these extra windows because it's money and also there's too many windows in the bathroom. And then maybe the kid could have their bedroom up here and the teen's room could be downstairs. I won't lie, I am beginning to get a little bit worried about the budget. Let's make sure we have like all of the necessities, you know? like a shower and a toilet and all the bathrooms. We can get like the kitchen stuff. I'm realizing now this bathroom is not gonna work how I normally would do it. So that's very annoying. Um, I might have to put the door like further over, which I don't really love doing. I like how it looks better when it's centered, but if I can't use move objects or anything, then I kind of kind of have to do it like this. Should I allow us some toilet paper or is that a waste of money? It's kind of a waste of money, but it, it feels like a, a fun waste of money. You know what I mean? I hate this. <laughs> This is not how I want to lay out these bathrooms at all. I mean, it'll do, but it's just, it's just not the dream, you know? That looks terrible. But that's centered in the landing. Wouldn't that be nice if we had like a beautiful window up there in this landing? I really should go through and like paint all of the walls. I'll probably end up changing the color of these, but I think right now we just need to make sure that we actually have painted walls because then we like don't have to worry about not having enough money to do it. Same thing on the outside. We have to go through and paint all of these. Otherwise, it's going to be a disaster when we get to the end of this. I don't like how it looks. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed by the auto placement of, of the edging, but that's fine. We'll get a nice, we'll get a nice pretty roof color. I'm realizing now that maybe I cheated by holding shift to paint all of the rooms. That's just a hot key though. Does that count? I mean, like instead of painting them all alone, I, I went and I just like held shift to paint the whole thing. No, I don't think that counts. I think it's fine. It doesn't actually affect how it looks or anything, right? It just affects like how fast I was able to paint it. I have changed my mind about the color of the house. I think I might paint it this like yellow color instead. I think that's kind of pretty. I'm also going to use a brick foundation, which luckily is free because we are very much out of money right now. Okay, ignore the colors of the walls. Definitely going to change that too. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh my God. No. Can I put, <gasps> can I use the smaller one? This is very painful for me. Okay. This, I know I might seem like I'm overreacting. I'm just, I'm really unused to this. Okay. I, it, I, I'm so used to just putting things where I want them that this is very difficult for me. I guess if I use a smaller door, I can save some money. Like if we got maybe this one, that will work. It looks worse, but it'll work. And then I can put things where I want it and it's cheaper. I don't think I can afford to put upper cabinets, can I? I, I don't think that's in the cards for us now that I think about it. This room is a little bit smaller than I thought it was. Um, looking at it now with a rug placed in there. So I probably need to use a kind of small rug. I do really like this werewolves rug. I haven't used that on like a house interior yet. I don't know which color is best, especially because the kitchen is like so blue. <laughs> I guess we could probably try and swap the kitchen to be a little bit like creamier. Does that wallpaper look okay with the rug? What other wallpapers are there? Oh, we could do something like that. That is a little bit creamier. <laughs> okay, maybe that'll work. And it has that like nice minty color in the rug. We could probably try and use that as like the main wallpaper color. Oh, this is clipping very weird. I put that wall there because this really bugs me, like how it is a little bit smaller, but the clipping also bugs me. So I don't really know what to do about this yet. Um, sadly, I think that this might be the biggest couch size that I can get. I want to like scoot it back just the time. Oh my gosh. New question. Can I even fit a dining table in this corner? I can. I mean, honestly, I think that's really pretty. I don't like that table, <laughs> but I feel like this kind of has potential. Maybe if we use the yellow, because that kind of brings brings in some of the rug too. How much are those chairs? 80? We're out of money. I didn't really realize that until just now. We have like 6,000 simoleons and we have to furnish the entire house. I can't put a plant 
in here. It, it doesn't allow me to have a plant in, in any position that I would like to have a plant. So um, that's great. I might try and get at least the cheapest TV because otherwise this room is sad. And then we also need to make sure we have a trash can and stuff. Like I should put a trash can outside and I should also get a little tiny one in the kitchen that, oh my God, I can't alt place. Oh, what are you supposed to do if I can't alt place? Can I be honest with you? I would rather have no indoor trash can than have the trash can be like in the middle of the room. They get no trash can. You can have a plant on the table and you can have no trash can. I feel like it would be nicer if I scooted this over, but that really throws off the window placement, doesn't it? Well, what if we just had none? What if, what if I did scoot it over and I just didn't have windows there? They're not upstairs either, so it's fine. Okay, this is gonna be that teen's room. She's wearing a purple shirt, so we could try and like embrace that color scheme or something. I really like this wallpaper. I wonder if we can make this work somehow, or we could even use like the brighter color. I feel like that blue looks kind of good with the downstairs just in general. I feel bad because I would love to use like the, the nice new beds, but well, one, I don't know if the colors are gonna look very good in here. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's the vibe. I do think that the beds that we have from university are pretty good. Oh my God, normally I alt place them back. I forget like how far off the wall the beds are. That table is pretty cheap. I want to alt place it. <laughs> this is really hard. I might give her a desk too. I think a desk is a really like easy thing to add into the room that makes it feel very functional. Although I don't like any of the colors. Maybe, no. <laughs> no, never mind. Sorry. I was going to say maybe I could use that one, but no. We can do the lime green from this instead. Maybe, maybe we can have a computer and maybe, maybe you can have some books. This room feels kind of sad. Should I like swap some stuff? Like what if the bed was over here and the desk was kind of in the nook? I think that makes more sense. Unfortunately, I also think that all of the rugs are bad and I don't know which one to use in here. Maybe the dark one is okay. It's, it's kind of pretty and maybe she can have a full length mirror. I don't understand why it places so far over. I want it to be like in the middle. Maybe she can have a bookshelf instead. Dead. I also hate where that place is. Can I just not? Can, you know, hang on. Let's go furnish upstairs. I'm gonna do the kids room and the kids room is gonna be nice and cheap and nice and easy. Blarfy, 75 simoleons. I can have that silly little green bed, which <gasps> no. Why does it place like that? Why? See, why is it so far forward? It looks so weird. I, I want to all place it so bad. This just feels wrong to me. All right, let's think about maybe a slightly more fun color scheme. I think the orange kind of fits better with the, the rug. Maybe I can put Blarfy right there and then possibly if it fits, we can have a dresser like in the corner. Can I scoot this door over and put Blarfy like over here instead? Or can I, maybe if I did it like that, this is bad. Like to me, this room actually looks bad. <laughs> here kid, you can have this little mirror thing and maybe like a, a little toy. And apparently that's all. Oh no. <laughs> I have very limited space that I can place the bed. Um, I might have to do like a, a corner bed. I probably shouldn't use that one because it's too expensive. This one's new from the high school pack. It's also kind of expensive, but it's got like a little matching set of some things. Ooh, maybe the dad can have a plant because that actually fits right there. <laughs> Nowhere else can fit one. I'll probably give him a nice little lamp too. Maybe like we'll put it in a darker color. Yeah, that room sucks. So this whole house kind of sucks. I mean, a lot of it has to do with us not using money cheats, right? But I also just can't put anything the way I want it to look. I'm starting to think that maybe, maybe some sort of extra piece of furniture in the corner here would be a good idea. It could be like the white locker thing. And then we can try and give the sim like, I forgot that I can't alt place posters even, but you can have one poster. And luckily your brother, like I feel like he doesn't really need wall art because he's got like the wallpaper and the mirror. I think dad could probably do with at least something cause it's kind of sad in here. Although that's kind of expensive. And at least downstairs, the walls don't feel like too bad. Maybe I'll give you a fruit bowl in the corner. Okay, let's try and do the landscaping. Oh my God. I don't know how to landscape without alt placing. <laughs> To be perfectly honest with you, I, I actually don't think I know how to do that. Whenever I landscape houses, I use so much like alt placing and sizing down objects and obviously move objects. I honestly don't think I know how to do it without that. Like my, my instinct is to, oh, just size that bush down and it fits. I can't. You can't even put 
the bush not close to the building? How am I supposed to do this? <laughs> Literally, how am I meant to do- I can't just put it right there. That looks horrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, um, if I had a bush like this way, and then- Oh, okay, I can put it in that without alt placing it. That helps. You're telling me I can't put it there, but I can put it there? Why is that? Honestly, honestly, why? Why is that? I think the bushes like along the sides kind of help. Um, can I do like small flowers up close to the edge? Okay, okay. So if I put like, um, no. I don't even know what to say. I honestly, I, I don't know how to do this. I'll give us like a little pathway because that's easy and free and requires no cheats. Same thing with like terrain paint underneath these longer bushes. Easy, free, and no cheats. Maybe if there was like a, a planter box? No, that's ugly. Don't do that. I could always put a few planter boxes in the back though if we wanted to give ourselves like something else a little bit more interesting in the back of the house. Oh, that's so expensive. Oh my god, never mind. Sorry, I forgot that we have a budget so that that won't be happening. I feel like I need like something big, like some bigger flowers, but they don't let me place them. That one's three wide, so I guess that's the problem. Maybe... Can I put this? See, why? Why? Why can't I put that? If I alt place it, you can put it like a little bit further up, but I, I can't. Okay, I can put it there in the middle, but that looks ridiculous. So I don't really know what to do about this. What is causing the problem? Is it- <gasps> <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sad. I need a mailbox too. And the mailbox is also annoying to place. <sighs> can I put the mailbox up here? Okay, I can put it up here. That makes me feel better. I think that looks better. Maybe if there was just planter boxes instead? Because I can place those with no cheats. And that, I feel like, helps add to the house a little bit. Can I put a bike here? No. Okay. Can I put anything here? I can do those, but not with no cheats. I can put one of them with no cheats. But that, I just- I feel like it's just better to have none <laughs> at that point. What about those little, like, tiny flowers? Like, um, where did they go? These ones. Oh, I can put those! Wait, I can put those? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Just call it. Say that's perfectly fine by me. We can put the little trash can- <gasps> I can't put the trash can up against the wall. Can- can anyone tell me why? Just why? Where am I supposed to put the trash can then? Like in the middle of the build? I'll- I'll put it back here. But why can't it be- oh my god. We are so oh my god. We are so spoiled by move objects. These are pretty cheap too. These daisies are only 20 simoleons, so we can pretty easily put like a couple more of them back here. I can probably try and like pile them together a little bit in that area, or at least we can put these like somehow kind of around wherever we end up putting like a, I don't know, like an outdoor space or something. I think if we had maybe some sort of like little table area, I don't know how to do this. I'm kind of just, wait, oh that looks terrible. Wait one second, <laughs> let me try that again. I feel like if we were to put like some sort of little, I don't know, like outdoor area, we could probably try and like, I mean we can sort of line it up to the flowers as well if we so want to. That's not as smooth and clean as it was before, but I don't know, that maybe looks interesting. And we can put a little bit of dirt underneath them and like kind of overlap it with the patio. I realized I didn't put any lights back here. Also, the porch has literally nothing on it. Oh my god, I can't do that. Oh, the places that these lights choose to position themselves is- is just- I'd rather not have them if they're gonna look like that. Okay, I want to put a table outside so badly. I feel like it is extremely important that we have literally anything <laughs> outside. There needs to be something back here and the table is cheap and we can put just two chairs and then there's something in the back. Okay, this little tiny welcome mat has some kind of cute swatches. We could use like that little one maybe? And that puts something in the front and it only costs what, like 15 simoleons? That's- that's doable. Can use the same thing in the back probably. I forgot that I don't have any planter boxes in the back. We could at least just have the one kind of in the middle. Are there any other necessary like skill building things that are cheap? I mean we've got what, like yoga mats? We have cell doors, that's always an option. I'm probably gonna end up just putting like a bench or something. <laughs> I'm probably gonna just put a bench by here and then call it a day. Although we probably don't need anything on the patio. Okay, I'm just gonna go through and put a little bit more terrain paint underneath the whole thing because again, that's free. And I'm kind of just looking around at the inside trying to figure out if there's anything else. I mean, we could maybe get some cabinets. I forget how much they cost. 200 for one cabinet. Never mind. <laughs> we can't have any cabinets. Maybe we could put a little bookshelf right here. Oh, that's fine. Maybe that helps the wall feel less ridiculous. Oh, and maybe we could get a thermostat. That might- oh, no, that's too expensive. Thermostats are too expensive? I feel like that should be cheaper. I never noticed that before and I'm disappointed. But you know what? The house- it- this is the best that we can do.
can do. <laughs> this is the best that I can do with no cheats. In the end, it's costing 21,250. It is three bedrooms and two bathrooms, which is pretty good. I'll stick it on the gallery if you want to download it. I should have saved my game first. Okay, it's fine. Every time I do that, I'm like, oh my god, I should have saved because the gallery crashes my game sometimes and I get scared. But it's fine. We made it through. And I think on that note, I'm probably gonna end this video right here. If you like Sims builds and Sims building videos like this, I make a ton of them here on my YouTube channel, so feel free to subscribe. I really enjoy building these like smaller, cheaper, like kind of more playable house builds too. I feel like maybe it's kind of boring. Oh, I just like flung my headphones. <laughs> I feel like maybe it's kind of boring sometimes, but I also really enjoy doing it. So I don't know if I like it, hopefully, hopefully you like it too. Also, I would give you all these Sims on the gallery, but I won't lie. I, I didn't do all their outfits. Um, In fact, I gave them styled looks for their everyday outfits and I didn't even touch the rest of them. So I don't know what they're wearing. Probably fine, but it's also maybe probably not fine because it's the Sims 4 and, and we know how the Sims 4 goes. <laughs> so I'll just leave these Sims. They, they can just be our little testers. And with that, I'm actually gonna go. So I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. And now I'm gonna go do laundry. So really exciting stuff happening over here in Simsy's household. I know you're very jealous probably, right? Of me cleaning my house.